podcast. We're gonna go ahead and play a quick game of pool here. We got JT. I'm Ace. Bricks, all white. Get it poppin'. Let's go, man. It's been a minute since I saw you guys. I know. Might be a little rusty. Ah, mm. uh, I ain't getting all I want. It's crazy. I don't know. So I'm gonna pick the bricks again. So, man, you guys trying to take um, Saquon Parker? No, we ain't trading him. Uh oh. No, 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 no. I see some of the reports. No, it was. I see y'all trying to get Deshaun Watson and it failed. Fucking suck. <laughs> Fucking suck ain't the word. Garbage. <laughs> I mean, I kind of knew we weren't going to get him anyway, so. You know what I'm saying? And then y'all keep it Cam for another year, so I mean, hey. I would like Cam for another year. Then, you know, this man went to fucking the Browns. Hey, man. With well, his situation he got going on, I mean, I figured he had to pick the best route. Who was it? It's Deshaun Watson. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, said, okay. $230 million. I mean, I follow the money, I guess, was his motto. Like, he he wasn't going to get nowhere where he was. I don't know. They, was only, they kept putting franchise tags on him. So, if, if I, was, if, I mean, if you point the franchise tag on me, I'm going to go myself. Yeah, I'll switch it. I would say Texans are just like Tennessee Titans. They don't know how to keep nah, a good they're, player. They're worse than Titans, at least Titans. I mean, as far as, all right, it's a good team to look at. You ain't going to the field. You might make it to, the, you know, the jump. But you ain't, you know, you know what I'm saying? Now, you ain't going to make it to the Shooks. You got to realize two times has changed, too. Like, you got to realize when you go to the playoffs, that's an extra bonus in the yeah. game. That's why these coaches be getting fired because they lose losing money. I don't know why he didn't try to go to um, New Orleans. I thought they were going to New Orleans. I thought that would have been a good fit. Well, New Orleans would look good for him. Something some he can win. He can actually do, you know. He had a chance in New Orleans. I think he had a bigger chance in New Orleans than he had in Sweden. I thought so. Alvin Kamara, I don't know who's the White House right now, but. Yeah. I think he did. He's on the board. Yeah, man. So, um, how's your year going so far? It's going well. You know, slowly, day by day. Yeah, I just celebrated a birthday. Yeah, happy birthday. Late birthday. Happy yeah. birthday. Man, it's all good, man. I'm just blessed, man. How was your birthday? I work, man. I just work. I had time to really think about my life and just ways to be being better as an adult, man. You know, sometimes we just have to really evaluate and find things that, you know, mental and, I would say your mental and how to handle stuff, like situations and whatnot. Don't laugh at my pools, I suck at the pool. I just... <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. End up doing something. Come here, brother. It's on you, man. Yeah, that's work, bro. Oh yeah, you did this work. Yeah, I wonder where. I wonder where. That I piece is at. All right. Hey, that's what you hit. I hit the shot because you were. I hit my ball in there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So how's um, how's the love life going? It's going good. It's going good. You know. Plans and shit we can't talk about on camera, but we got some plans. You know, you know, you gotta pay the, you gotta pay the hit him for. You know what I'm saying? That's that's gonna see time. We got some plans. Some I'm plans in the works. Yeah. True, 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 true. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Are you single? <laughs> Are you single? Yeah, I'm single, man. What? I'm single, bro. When did this happen? I've been single. I've been saying for like two and a half years, two years, two years. Oh. Yeah, man. You know, things happen, you know. Pandemic came. Maybe it was just so shook up. You never know. Things happen for a reason. That's why we're here today, right? Yeah, that's the key. You know? I'm kind of, I'm actually glad the pandemic came, man. It had a chance to make everybody appreciate life. How, how things come, it can easily be taken away. Dang. You can say that again. Yeah, man. Like, you know, I think, um, I think me personally was just starting over with a whole new life. You know, besides being single, just starting off with a new life. I was at a job for like 11 years, closed down because of the pandemic. So yeah, at that time it was just my mental, you know, you, you know, my mental, my next move, what's next for me. 
you know, as far as like, you know, well, what am I going to do? And, you know, things are slowly coming along, but, you know, everything takes time. I think it was just time for change, time for sin, you know. Yeah. Change is always good, I think. Yeah, man, I think probably, like, you know, uh, me and Bricks most of the time, we got out most of that time during the pandemic. We just hit the road, had to ride our road trips with him. Mm -hmm. um, working out more, yeah. hitting the weights. And, um, you know, just, you know, everyday stuff, man. Ooh. <laughs> that in, man. Everything. Scratch. Scratch. But now, nah, man, it's just, um, like I said, man, I'm just, you know, Everything, everything, I think life is uh, life is uh, the best teacher of life is experience, man. I'm happy with my life. Yeah. Well, you win it too. Yeah. Okay. Two to one. Zero. Zero. I'm not in two sharp, just to try to get this four out of the way. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Oh, my bad. Oh, are you guys, like, hitting stripes or something? <laughs> He on the stripe, so I mean, he was going for solid. Well, listen, I just been hitting whatever ball I think I can hit. Hey, man. Hey, man. You're right, dude. It's crazy. So yeah, I'm going to hit solid. Thank you for letting me know. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm good, man. I think I'm a better shape than I've been. Um, I've been working out every day, as you can tell. UPS, is, UPS is my gym. Yeah. Gym. I, think the more, I think the challenge as far as being a supervisor, I've learned more about myself, my patience, mm -hmm. um, learn how to avoid confrontations and whatnot, picking my battles. Yeah. You didn't avoid that confrontation. Shut your mouth. What confrontation? He got into it with some youngster at the job. <laughs> Try to beat him up. I ain't getting get to no youngster, man. I just don't get his work done, man. You know, us black people, man, we, we are target, man. You know, it was crazy. Back in the day, it used to be hard to get in UPS. Now they hire kids 17 years old. So if they take it serious before they're 25, they can make more than the average person that's 40, 50 years old. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, I would, if that's I had... That's the wrong one. Huh? That's right? Yeah. Sorry. They definitely... They basically just switched over to... You, you on stripes on this. You got you on stripes. I'm on this one. Yeah. That's all I asked you. No, no. This is the wrecking wreck ball. But you gotta hit stripes. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's because, you know, shipping now is crazy. But you know, times has changed, you know. We yeah, they, they figure out to get on God mode as far as the work, the yeah. experience, and as far as doing everything else. China, that's what they did. Yeah. They, they start right at this. You born. That's what America trying to do. Finally catch up to you. You know, China, really? That's how yeah, I see. I mean, yeah, look at it too. Like, times has changed now. You know, back then, you know, you shut your mouth, you take your money. Now they, so many people in competition. You got Amazon, FedEx, everybody offering endorsements UPS. just to keep the people. Yeah. And, you know, these kids, you know, I I'm sorry, I won't even say these kids, the next upcoming generation, young women and black, young women and men, they knowing they work early, which is good. You know, you work at an early age. Yeah. So, I, it was the time I was afraid to step out my comfort zone until I got on with them mm -hmm. and embrace it. You know, um, like I said, I mean, I'm liking it. It's a workout. I swear to God, trust me, you're going to work your ass off. <laughs> it's no such thing as you sitting back. Hey, you, nah, you got to, you know what I'm saying? But I like it though, because I mean, it, it, it's, 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 it's a gym. I ain't paid no membership yet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, it's all good, man. It's all good. I would do, I mean, I, just to go back to what I just said, America, I mean, America has definitely reached God when they started doing this. And they, it's like, as far as they started pulling in all the, they targeting all these young kids and starting off the same thing I just said, but it's like, to get into depth, they been saw what they could have did based on the other countries around us, Russia, China, you know, all that other stuff. Yeah. yeah they start early, 
you know, they've been had this option and they always knew what they was doing over there. They always knew the advancement of starting early what they had to do so as far as us just now catching on and putting these young 17 year olds and 18 year olds behind the wheel of a truck now. Yeah. <laughs> it's like they've been new this option. I guess it's like a timer thing as far as the free will we have in America. Yeah, man. It's just, you know, I, 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 honestly, I think, you know, the sky's the limit. But yeah, like, we do got the opportunity. We, as far as being the best country, I yeah, feel like we are. And I feel like sometimes we don't take I feel like now that the pandemic hit, we're taking advantage of it. We're not living life as what if. We're going for it. We ain't second guessing nothing. Yeah. And you know, I think, I just honestly, like I said, man, just the, the, the um, I just feel like, you know, it's time to just live it, you know. I think, you know, I'm not where I, I'm so on where I want to be, but I know my time is coming and I'm patient. So the more I keep that positive mentality, keep doing what I'm doing, my time, everything itself will flow. What is your time? Like, what do you, what do you, what do you see as your future? Or what do you see yourself to your fullest potential? Like, what is that? I mean, honestly, when I say my fullest potential, it's like, you know, I know my moment right now is not like, you know, I, I remember years ago, talked to an old guy and he was working two jobs and he was just like it's not what you want it's what you gotta do to make a living mm -hmm. your time will come when you be able to work one job maybe it's just five days a week 40 50 hours a day or you know just working on Monday through Friday job or et cetera et cetera like me personally like you know I, I believe hard work is going my hard work is going to pay itself off even though it's not somebody's watching you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying and I know eventually it's gonna come, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, is it easy to get up every morning and you sleeping? Hell no. You know what I'm saying? I'm on the go. Sometimes I don't even have time to go see my family, bro. That's just, it's a sad part. I gotta make time. I think another thing too is time management. I have, I, I, I've been working on my time management. Damn. So I've been like, you know, and I think, you know, over the years it got me in trouble, you know, especially like relationships, you know, my big commitment, you know, sometimes it's hard. It's a balance, you know, and I feel like, you know, one day it will come. I think I'm gonna ask this question this way. It's a same type of question, but a little bit. Ooh. Ooh. Who did you want to be when you grew up? Or where did you know who was that? Who, who, like, who do you want to be? I mean, I ain't gonna lie, as a kid, I thought I was gonna be like in the NBA or, or NFL, man. I played football. I used to do football. Bro. Yeah, I, everybody, I think everybody wanted to do football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, so I'm like, I like, my first work was football. You know what I'm saying? Or like, you know, well, um, communications, you know, ESPN. I like sneakers, by the way. What's cool sneakers? I see you. I see you. You've been paying attention to me. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but I, like, I, I want to do something. Like, I want to be a sports anchor, build ESPN, talk about sports, talk about life. You know what I'm saying? Um, so it's a broad field. You, you know, wanted to play ball and then do what Shannon Sharp's doing. Yeah. That's, exactly. what, you, that's what you thought. He's looking dream. Yeah. yeah. I mean, she, yeah, I mean, look, man, I mean, my mind, my brain all over the place, you know what I'm saying? Or I'll be on the radio. I, <laughs> I just knew, um, it's on. I just knew, you know, me. no, it's on me. I just knew, you know, I wanted more, you know, I mean, if you're wrong, you know what I'm saying? I wanted, I'm not perfect, you know what I'm saying? Um, left for college, I enjoyed the college experience. It was life, you know, one thing my grandmother told me, she said, never be afraid of fear of life, you know, and mm -hmm. here I am, man, I'm, I'm thankful, you know what I'm saying, I just got one more thing to accomplish, my next goal in life, you know what I'm saying, um, one day be a house owner, and then God bless me with the right lady, and a nice family, hey man, and I'm just waiting for it to present itself, you know, I don't believe in like plenty of things, I feel like everything is going with the flow. What about fruit? Yeah. I feel like when you're for real, go with the flow. Yeah. I'm lying. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't weird. believe like okay, for example, right? Everybody okay, let's let's, let's take this for example, man. We all want this we, we find this girl we like, right? I'm gonna use that example because it's a perfect example. But you trying to force something that's not gonna be real. Like you can meet this girl and be like, man, I wanna marry her, or I wanna date her. But when you get to know the person, it's like, damn, that's the only. Or sometimes she might change your perspective of life and you might be all in, and you probably should probably teach you something you never thought you knew ever about yourself, and for us liking and loving someone. So you, you so you wanted to eat. First of all, you think your life is lived by a woman? No, I'm not saying my life is lived by a woman. Or, you, is, or is it is it like engaged? Someone you meet with a woman, or when 
No, when I say when I say when I say she changed her perspective on life, okay, take for example. Oh, I'll give you as far as when you know a woman, like reality. Yeah, yeah right, 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 okay. Messes up your life. Not even mess up, nah, not even mess up. As far as being prepared. No, not even, dang it, no. Not even mess up your life. I feel like we're so messing up your life, man. Man, man, it's vice versa, man. I just feel like. You go to the blow. I feel like real, I feel like if a relationship is too perfect, it ain't good. You're going to have your ups and downs. That's true. But when I say perspective of life, for example. I posted a comment a couple months ago. I was it a couple weeks ago? And mm -hmm. um, you hit me up about it. And I said, is it wrong for a man not to believe in marriage? No, it's not true, though. Somebody got mad. I had a conversation with a lady and she got upset. So what was it said again? Was it. What was that question again? I posted. I posted with a man. Is it wrong that I don't believe in marriage? Is it wrong that I don't believe in marriage? Was it? Is it wrong that you don't believe in marriage? Or anybody believe in marriage? Like, for example, my parents been together over a year. My parents were together over a decade. They're not married. It's called common law marriage. Yeah. And they're not married. Nah. But oh, they the hood married. So yeah. <laughs> so hood married. So so here's the thing. I think um, it's on you, We gotta define marriage because there's marriage, and then there's the legality of marriage. Yeah. They're married. They're yeah. on everything married people do, yeah. just without the official taxes. Yeah. But technically, they believe in marriage. Yeah, I just, okay, like, I was saying, I'm is saying, that what you believe in? I mean. So that's the question. The Dude, question is, right now, I don't care about the legality. Oh, my, my opinion on it, I mean, that one I meet one day changes my perspective, and I have it to follow the question, then hey, there's a reason why. It's but okay. I'm not gonna dig in and say, oh, the way the plan is. Cause everybody has a plan and yeah, sometimes it's not always easy to tell and be shown to tell. Exactly. And it's like a story and I'm like one of those people like, you know, if you if you was here in the beginning, so, you're gonna be at where I'm at the finish line. Yeah. And you supported at the beginning, you was. And I just feel like if you ain't gonna get it, you just gonna get it. But the way I'm the, the way everybody should be right now is, you know, time, time, time ain't everything. Time everything is time. Everything yeah, no, no. My dad told me that um if you don't have time to do it right the first time, why well, don't we have time to do it right the second time? Yeah. I, you know, I didn't, that didn't make sense when I was younger, but now that I'm older, it makes so much more sense. Go ahead and put the groundwork in the first time. Grind. If I were to grind it hard, like really put it all in my 20s. You talking about in a relationship? I'm talking about in life. Oh, I, I was about to say that. You're on that relationship? Or you changed it? The transition was that statement. It was okay. that statement. I, mean, yeah, yeah. I thought you were still on the women. All right, forget the women. Transition to that statement. If you grow hard, yeah, you got to go through that work ethic. You have to have a strong work ethic. You have to do everything to your fullest potential. There you go. Finally got a ball. You got to do everything to your fullest potential to get somewhere. Yeah. You can't be. If if I'm at McDonald's. You better be the best McDonald's person. Them fries gonna be on point. What is it? Uh, four minutes and fifteen seconds. Them fries gonna be nice and golden. And know. then you getting. I'm giving you four packets of ketchup. <laughs> I'm giving you. If I'm at McDonald's, I'm, I already know where I'm gonna go. I'm going straight to the fries, nuggets, the side orders. So <laughs> my, my, my boy said, I'm gonna want some McDonald's right now. It's like I, I know. It, it's like I know I want to work. I know what I want to stand at. I know I'm, I'm here some floors. I'm, I'm doing this. I'm a worker, Capricorn. Uh, I'm a worker. I'm gonna get it done. As far as like, I'm going to the fries. They gonna be on point. Ain't nobody gonna be talking about my work. I'm gonna hit these floors when we get to close out because I'm gonna, I want overtime because I want money. You know, Capricorn's mentality. I want more money so they can't kick me out. Oh, we gonna kick him out the clock because he getting all the money. But well, he is washing the floor. He don't want to wash the floor. Like, you know, so, pie, like, King Pisces, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's like, I know how to get the money, and I'm going to stay there, and I'm gonna, I ain't going to want nobody to talk about my work, because if you talk, if my work is bad, I don't have no reason to be there. I ain't about to get fired, and I ain't about, you know, if anything, you ain't going to be talking about my work. It's you coming at me in a way that I, you know, I ain't going to like, and you just going to have to hear my mouth, which has always been my trouble, and mm -hmm. it gets me in trouble, because can't nobody say nothing about my work, but when management come at me, it's like, I know you're not talking about that. Just hell, my people just came at me, and I know I'm on top of my work because I'm a three-year veteran in, that, in the same stuff. It's really where I went through with school, as far as I never got in trouble in my classrooms. I always got in trouble outside of the classrooms. 
at the school in general with the principal, the assistant principal. I never, my teachers always stood up for me when it came to terms of people coming at me wrong. If, you, if I know what I'm doing, I'm on point. And this is how jobs go, too. If the worker's working, they know their job and they're doing it well, but the manager coming at them before everybody else mistakes, that worker's going to give them a piece of their mind. Yeah. I'm that worker. That's because I always had that work mentality on me. Which brings me back to what you were saying about you, you don't do it at 110 percent. I go 110 with everything I do because I don't want you to go on my work. First of all, I don't have that time and space. I guess it was based off how I don't. I just I don't know how I was raised. I don't know. My dad's an entrepreneur, but he was always a go getter. So I guess it comes from that aspect. As far as I know, I'm a go getter. As soon as I get there, you're not going to be talking about my work. You be talking about. After other stuff that I do to have I sing and play on the job, but I know my job because I'm getting done with it. You gotta go talk about my work if anything. So that hundred percent plays a long way for me. Yeah, like me personally, man, um I come from a background of hard work. Um I'm West Indian, you know, my uh, my mom's from St. Thomas, um my dad's from Jamaica, but me and him don't talk. But um her husband well long story short, you know, um my parents is my aunt and my uncle. They took me in. Um, she's my mom's sister, she's from St. Thomas, and my dad is from Antigua. They're my parents. Um, I learned where that is. So, that one down. You got a lot of parents. You got <laughs> parents, but you don't got parents. You got an aunt and uncle, but they yeah. aunt and uncle, but they are your aunt and uncle. Yeah, they, they, they raised me. Um, and they're from West Indian. But yeah. you Jamaican. Yeah. Well, show that shit out one more time. You got to say that again. I'm Jamaican, and I'm, my parents are from Virgin Islands. I'm your Korea. dad is West Indian. Indian. Your dad West Indian. Yeah. Your mom is West Indian. Oh, they West Indian. Yeah, everybody's West Indian. Yeah, West Indian. But you know, where they from though? You, you name different places. Oh, uh, St. Thomas, uh, Smith Bay area, uh, the VI. They both from the same place. Yeah. Your parents are both from the same place. Yeah, my uh, they from, one of them was from Antigua. My dad's from Antigua. Antigua Bay. Yeah, Antigua. Uh, and that Esco? No. No, no, no that's not. I'm thinking yeah, about it. But you know, worth that. You know, there. You know, back that time, education was a big thing. You know, yeah. People dropped out of fourth grade. Some people had fourth grade education. Cause y'all didn't have education. Yeah, they didn't. Okay. You know, so watch them as a kid. Yeah, I didn't watch my mom part some job. I'm like, damn. Hey, if, I, if they could do it, I could do it. And, yeah. You know, he always like how in the household education was not an option. You know, um, you gotta learn. I learned how to watch close at early age. I was always raised never depend on a woman. A woman can never take nothing from me. Um. Where were you born at? Like, I'm, I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I moved to Charlotte when I was 10. You moved, so when did your aunt and uncle take over? Oh, when I came to Charlotte. So when you was with your parents until 10. high school? Nah, 10. No, until 10. Yeah. Yeah, 10. Middle school? Is yeah. that middle school? Nah, elementary school. Oh, dang. Yeah, so, um. Okay. So you know, um, okay. so, you know, work ethic was not a, you know, they always tell me, you know, you got hard work and easy. It's something. It's not easy. Um, you know, I, um, I pride myself, I set myself as a standard as a man. So, you know, I watched them over the years work, and that's what put me to work. Like, you know, I have a great head work ethic. Sometimes I'll be looking tired, but I'll still go in, and I'll go and put 110%. And, you know, every time people be like, man, you sure you play? You working like a Mexican, ain't you? Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, you know, like, hey, man, you gotta, get, you gotta work to get what you gotta get, man. Especially, especially in Charlotte, it's expensive. What, who is your aunt and uncle? Are they West Indian too? Yeah, they West Indian. I don't think you really are black. Man. I mean, it don't matter if I ain't black, bro. <laughs> My I, 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 I never said I was black. I'm just I'm on the paper, the test, to actually, I, 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 I say black. <laughs> That's what you got. <laughs> I say I'm black. They, they haven't. The Census Bureau hasn't gotten to all black. <laughs> they only got into white. That's why they got Europeans, Irish, all. They figured all them out. But, you know, long they story, figured all you know. us blacks out. This ain't, he ain't black. Let y'all know he ain't black. Yeah, I ain't black. But you know, the Census Bureau don't got that right. Yeah, here. but you know, at the end of the day, man, I feel like hard work pays off, man. Sometimes you know I don't need to complain because the next man might be do worse than you. Just like you said, man. I'm, I've always stayed myself as the underdog. I've done things people thought I could never do. Mm -hmm. And I've been times I'm shocked I'm doing the things that I've always shocked myself doing the impossible, man. And I don't take it for granted. I'm almost thankful, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm also thankful for my support team, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, that's why I'm always like, you know, if people need something, I, I feel like I, I look back, I do my best to get back. Because, you know, you never know when it's your time or when you're going to need something. Yeah.
So I would say if you're complaining, you need to work harder or figure out a solution. Complaining yeah. gets you nowhere. Nowhere, man. Like, you know. But wasting time. Yeah, like it's like sometimes I hear like people like, why well, I keep scratching? Yeah, I ain't focused. Like, you know, for example, like this is just me and a lot of people. Like, I, for example, I think you're a wonderful father, man. You just, you find your balance, you, you grind hard. You know what I'm saying? Working two jobs like me, like I said, you pushing it to the limit. You know, I'm, I'm, I will say if I had, you know what I'm saying? Like you said, I think the best gift I seen you happy was because you got a trophy to Father's Day. And I was like, man, that, that's that's dope, man. Yeah. If I could, I'd probably give him a championship belt or something. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the man I know, like, for real, seriously, like, I never heard, like, he, Daddy do me. He's putting it up the rock. You know what I'm saying? Jabroni. <laughs> yeah, Jabroni and him with the people eyebrows. So. Hey, you know what I'm saying? I, so, I, I try my best, man. I try to be a well rounded father. And my father was a real rounded father, raising two girls and two boys. And I'm being the youngest, I guess I had it the leeway. But, I mean, I, you know, I go from that. You, you know, even though things didn't work out once we moved to Charlotte, as far as, you know, his, his finances, but I think he did. My turn. <laughs> necessarily Greensboro, but Greensboro's in his van system. But if, you, if you're not in those cities, you, it's going to be very much, you're going to be in jail or shot, killed. I just feel like it's all in North Carolina. If you're not in those cities, you're not in these five, what, five major cities that we have in Charlotte, you're in North Carolina, if you're not in those or close to those or starting to start to branch out to go to those, you in the grave. And you, it's, you in the grave when you're in prison. That's it. That's yeah, the opportunities. Yeah, yeah, I think, um, I would just say, man. Oh my goodness, what is you doing? I would just say, man. I'm just thankful. I'm, I'm just thankful for um, opportunities come my way. Like I said, the doors are open once the pandemic hit. Yeah. Um, like I said, I would. I, I had a bad experience at the warehouse. I thought I would never work at one again. And then, so opportunity knocked itself on the door, and I took it. That's good. So I'm taking the opportunities, man. Try new things, continue to versatile yourself. Yeah, man, I just think um, I'm ready for more chapters in my life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm at peace. I'm not satisfied, but I know it's coming. When I say I'm not satisfied, I want more. Listen, say that again for the camera. Look at the camera and say that. <laughs> the way you just said it. Then. I don't want peace. <laughs> I want to grab that. No, but that's deep. He said, say it I'm at peace, it. but I'm still not satisfied. I'm at peace. Right now, but I'm not satisfied. Meaning was when I say I'm not satisfied, I want more. I'm, I'm pushing myself to the limit. Um, more life. More in life. Um, I'm basically gonna push myself to the limit. You know, sometimes you know you can't live in fear, and um, I want more. I see myself things more coming in the near future. Um, I don't know what may happen in the near future, but I know it's positive things coming, and. I just want to say, you know, if you like I said, if you're in there, if you're in there for the beginning, catch me in the finish line. So, this is my say. Um, that was a beautiful speech. When you have, when you, I believe peace is the first peace that you need to start your journey. Yeah. It's, it's, you got to have, because if you got all chaos around you, can't focus, or you don't find that focus mentality, you don't find that focus out of what you're going through that you're, you're, you're everywhere. So once you find that peace, you start to grab that balance of, shoot, okay, I can see it this way. I can see it that way. You, Cause you start to see you focusing in on yourself. Once you focus in, peace goes with balance. Balance goes with harmony. Once you harmonize yourself, once you become, you become wholesome, once you become wholesome, you can start to see everything really clear. You can see that vision. Now that tunnel ain't blurry no more. It ain't broad. It's very clear now. It ain't everywhere. It's just a straight shot. You gotta have that peace. You was right on that. Yeah, peace, 
vision, and then the focus. Those three things, you'll get where you're trying to go. Yeah, can nobody take it from you. The only person that can take this, take it away from you, is that person, person you look in the mirror every morning. Every day you get in there. That's home. true. Because that, if that, that wholesome goes a long way. That wholesome is your mentality. Yeah. And people don't even know you just could grief Charlie Brown. If that mentality ain't straight, the, the mentality and the peace and the balance is the same stuff. People don't, I don't even think people really put those in the same category, but you, those are the same category. Yeah. That's, that's, and I would, I would that's how you doing, it. brother. And, and, and on the inside, you're not peaceful inside. So you could have a good streak going on. You could be, you know, but you not and it's internally, that's an internal effect. That's, you know, it's, it's effective towards who you are. And it, everybody has their mistakes. Everybody has their flaws. It's like these rich people, or these, a rich billionaire. Like, shoot, Batman, take Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. <laughs> you know, he's, oh, he's Batman. He's, not, he's, he's Batman, but, you know, is his life set? Is it, is no. it could it be more? Or is he, is he, uh, is he just gonna be a superhero? Is that the mentality he's gonna always have? Is he gonna get out of that? Is, I don't. Would you say Batman's at peace? I think Batman is not at peace. I think I think probably because you know his parents got killed. Yeah. So you know he's not stopping to get vengeance. Yeah. I think the way I will say the way he gets vengeance is protecting people. I think that's what it is. He got it, but he's messed up. He's messed up, you know what I mean? So how do you know he had Um you know what's crazy? You know No, no, seriously. Um That's a deep question. I don't know when you're at peace. Sometimes you do know, but sometimes you don't know. Sometimes you can be in denial. But I think, you know, you staying busy, you think about the pros and the cons. It's on you, guys. And you're thinking about, hey, what if I didn't do this? What if I didn't do that? You sometimes, you have to embrace and grow. You have to, you have to really be in thought and really think. It's like, okay, what am I going to do? You be like, hell yeah. Like, I'm ace. Well, I just figure out what his error is going to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, what am I going to do? You can't see any misery all day. You know what I'm saying? You got people depending on you, looking up to you, and, you know, everything's going to flow itself. It's a, it, I think things happen for a reason. Yeah. And, you know, I... Yeah. Everything happens for a reason. You know? I, I mean, a lot of people don't see it now, but you're going to see it. You're like, damn. Like, listen, man, I've been around, I've met amazing, a lot of great people, I've had a conversation with a lot of people. You know, one thing about me, I've noticed, like, you know, people I'm cool with, people I'm not cool with, people I'm cool with, period. I feel like we're not always disagree with things. But I have to always tell somebody, if I can't have a disagreement with you and we can't be back cool, then it was fake from the beginning. I say never be around people that always agree with you. I don't want people always agree with you. Yeah, I, 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 I need that, that dialogue. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like if, I feel like if, 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 if you that powerful and we can't get along, we were never meant to be cool. Right. What do you mean by people who always agree with you? Is we don't see no wrong answers. <laughs> Me personally, when so I say not seen a wrong I, answer. When I say I got you on that one. When I say about that, it's like an ass kisser. A yes, yes ma'am. I'm a not yes, own, yes, a person without their own conscience. Yeah. yeah. Like I'm not an old thing like me. Like me, I'm not an ass kisser. Like 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 if I'm wrong. It might, I'm wrong. Don't get me wrong. At first, when I evaluate, I probably be like, damn, what did I do wrong? But at least explain to me what I'm doing wrong. Right. If I'm wrong, if I'm wrong and strong, if I feel like I'm strongly right, then hell. But I probably, in some way or form, I will admit that I'm wrong. Like I have no problem admitting that I'm wrong. I don't always think I'm right. I don't always think I know everything. You know. But you know, you, you just can't wake up saying that you're wrong. You can't be wrong and strong your whole life. That's true. But and you know what? That's as I've gotten older, that's been my what I've been working on the most. Is I don't have all the answers. <laughs> like you're not Google, you're not yeah, sure. Not, you know what I'm saying? So and I'm someone who you know is used to thinking I know everything, I got all the answers, or like my opinion is right. Oh uh, yeah. Like even with the name the good guys, man. Let me tell you about that shit. I've been thinking about that damn name all day. Been googling, doing research, looking at these guys' Instagram, and you know I'm like. Maybe we could take over that name. What, the good guys? The good guys? Bro, there's a podcast out there called The Good Guys Podcast. They got like 75 hey, 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 should I do it? Should I do it? You don't do that. But, I, but I'm like, I just know that's going to cause us problems down the line. Yeah, yeah. But I, I like the name. I'm like, yo, yeah. this, 
sir. They, they could. No, we, we made that up off the good guys were named good guys. As, as soon as we made up good guys, we got in so much trouble. <laughs> <laughs> we, we made that, that <laughs> same came up. They just made the name up. Hey, look, if, if we on camera, if we on camera, we wouldn't have come. What year was that? 2016? We came to good guys in 2012. 20, 20, 20, 20, 2016. When 20. I had been. And you moved down here. Man, we became the good guys. As soon as you moved down here, that's when we became the good guys. We've been the good guys, man. We just we been the good guys. I'm saying, but as soon as H moved down here from Greensboro, I, I came back. Came, we instantly. I feel like ever since I came back in 2019, more chaos has been raised since I've been back. <laughs> <laughs> and ever since he's came back, we've been the good guys. And that, that I don't even know. That was it. Was it because of my breakup report? <laughs> It was a not meant to be situation from the jump because I've ignored those flags from the jump because yeah. I yeah, yeah. I've, I've ignored those flags. So being being the good guys member has definitely showcased every aspect of <laughs> who I, I need to be, who I need to become, what I need to go through because it's just it, it was a freedom. It was a mark of freedom where. It's 11 o'clock. I'm just now laying down. I got the kids asleep, or I just got my lady straight. Nigga, come outside. Nigga, come outside. Get in the car. Get in the car. We out at the strip club. Mm. We out at some. We out meeting people. It, we're just out. It's like yeah, man, we're just, just, hey, hey, it, 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 hey, hey, hold on, wait, wait. We do got shot with people in the audience because no wings, boy. <laughs> Finger looking good. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, ew. It, Doing, I would say this. I would say I was doing what I love to do. I was doing, I was being who I am, and I wasn't, you know, I, I was, because in a relationship, you're, 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 it's still a mental trap. You're agreeing to be with somebody and going, you know, putting yourself on, putting closures on yourself, putting restraints on yourself to deal with that person. But in a, in a real relationship, a nice, functional, healthy relationship, it's not supposed to be restraints on yourself. It's supposed to be supporting each other. It's supposed to be an add-on to what you got going on. It's supposed to be, Nick, I can go out. No, I, can, I, I mean, I understand our contract, which is a contract, but it's understanding that if, we, if, if things were different, even celebrities, it's like, Y'all gonna meet somebody. Y'all gonna go out. Y'all go. If you gotta make some money, you gotta do this. You gotta do that. It's like it's, I'm not putting restraints on myself to to conform for you. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna be time. myself, and you're gonna be yourself. And I'm gonna add on. We're gonna find that love in the middle. We're not gonna. I just feel put like restraints on I feel like sometimes we go through things that celebrities actually go through. Yeah. Like no, money. it's the same. They go it's through the same. Like I just earn. They just move faster because you got money. Yeah. I just I just personally is just like um. I would definitely say, you know, JT, when you're in a relationship. Oh, yes. Oh, that's you, bro. All right. Oh, yeah. It's you, Jay. I just think when you're in a relationship, it's not about you. It's like, you know, it, it, you know, you got to make sure you're, you're a team. It's compromise. It's compromise, you're a team. Like, if I got it, you got it. Like, honestly, I'm not even threatened if a woman make more money than me. I'm like, shit, I'm getting paid like you on Friday. You like that, too? Hey, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm not threatened about that, man. Cause at the end of the day, man, I'm gonna... Yeah, I just, um, I just feel like, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a balance. It's compromise. It's called compromise. That's the thing. And I think what you said earlier, <laughs> you know, about restrictions and you know, my last relationship was extremely constrictive. Like, she didn't want me going out. Don't go here. Don't go, Don't go here. here. But that was right when I first started, you know, let's find out. You know, I'm doing a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, we were everywhere. And she would be, like, so jealous if I was going out doing so, business. And I realized, you know, you want to date someone who, A, believes in your vision and, like, wants to see you do good. Right. And she's not going to be, like, she needs to be secure in herself enough to know. Right. I know that you're not gonna do anything. At right. the same token, you gotta give also give her a reason 
and show her that, hey, you ain't got shit to worry about. Right. I mean, I versus this, a lot of times when you convince it to the point, it's like, fuck. Exactly, because how I started a relationship with a clean slate. I started a relationship with a clean slate. Do y'all do that? Yeah. Like, you had, I give you a hundred. Oh, you're an angel. Yeah, yeah. I get, when I have a relationship, oh, you're an angel. Yeah. Me, I put like this, man. You can't judge a book by a cover, but I'm not. I'm not one of those. I don't go based on what people tell me. Yeah. I gotta see for myself. Yeah. Right. Like you know, at the end of the day, you gotta sometimes sit back and peek, cause you ain't nobody stupid. Like, and then when the shit don't fall, it's like, okay, I'm not mad. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, you gotta, you, you definitely gotta have somebody that, you definitely gotta have somebody that's no negativity, man. You don't need no negativity. You need somebody encouragement. You gotta have your days, but it's like, what's what's the purpose of thinking bad or giving up? I feel like when you're thinking negative and thinking bad, you're trying to give up on that person. Well, you know, that's true. I mean, that's true. I didn't have to like the manifestation of energies. <clears throat> Man, you start thinking negative, negative shit starts to happen. It comes to you. That's because it's a real energy. It's real, yeah. I mean, it's, it's a real energy. They were doing research on that. You almost were. Ooh. They were doing research on that. Um, and they, I was reading a podcast on that. I was listening to a podcast on the research on that. That's me, bro. No. That's my goal, bro. I'm at the gym. Where are you at? I'm trying to see you. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody. It's on the curb. I've been at the JT the whole time. No. It's chill. He's right. He's trying to win. I was laughing. Go ahead, bro. He go, you, hey, yo. Starting off on the wrong side. <laughs> hey, you know, you starting off with a clip on the wrong slate. Hey, cameraman. Roll that shit. I gotta get it from this. Hey, yo, cameraman. Roll that shit. I might get it wrong anyway, so. <clears throat> You can't make this shut. It's just, it's just. I gotta get a fair deal. If you scratch, you lost. Fuck you here with power. <laughs> Man. Damn. <laughs> so what happened? If you scratch, you lost. Yeah, you lost, bro. Really, right? So you lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah I lost. <laughs> What's this over here, man? Put the camera on the ski ball, man. They don't want the ski ball. He don't want that one. Pumas are cooked. 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 Pumas Hello, can you hear us?